percussion, we are on the last line of chart 11.5. We did it, and on Wednesday's lesson, we will go through the whole thing. But for today, let's look at line number 9, which again is the very last line of chart 11.5, okay? All right, so let's write in the counts real quick. First measure, pretty simple, okay? Big one, big two, three E and a, four E and a. All big numbers and letters for that. Number measure two, again, another simple measure here, all right? Big one, and then the rest, all big numbers and letters. We have two E and a, three E and a, and four E and a. All right, measure three. So this is where we get a little bit more syncopated. Cool. Um, the very first note is an eighth note, right? So that's a big one. And then right after that is a small and crossed out because of the rest. And then we have a little two crossed out because of the quarter rest. And then we have another eighth rest, and that's little three crossed out. It's three and not and because the rest before is a quarter rest, and it started on beat two, so the next beat uh, would be three. So little three crossed out, and then we have an eighth note, okay? Big and, and that's the and of three, okay? And then we finish it off with four E and a. All big numbers and letters. So measure three looks like that, okay? We have a big one, a little and, that's crossed out, a little two that's crossed out for that quarter rest, and then we have the eighth rest right here, so it's a little three crossed out, big and, four E and a, for the 16th notes to end that measure. All right, measure number four. Big one, big two for those two quarter notes, and then we have three E and a, all big numbers and letters, and then on beat four we have an eighth rest, so it's a little four, crossed out, and then we end with a big and. All right, all four measures right there. Let me raise it so the computer screen's not reflecting on there. All right, there you go. So if you need time to write in those counts, please do so. If you're good, hey, we're going to start counting, okay? All right, so here's your beat. Let's count num uh, measure number one. One, two, measure one. One, two, three, e and a, four, e and a. Now do it bopping, okay? No pulses on those quarter notes. One, two, ready, count. One, two, three, e and a, four, e and a. All right, measure two, pulsing. Here we go. One, two, uh, ready, go. One, sorry, I messed up there. Ah, okay, try it again. One, two, uh, ready, and. One, two, e and a, three, e and a, four, e and a. Make sure you mark down the time, and uh, we'll see. That's another no dignity day right there. Okay, measure two again, but bopping this time. One, two, ready, go. One, two, e and a, three, e and a, four, e and a. Good job. Measure three. Okay, let's break this down a little bit. So we have an eighth note on beat one, so there's no pulse, right? It's just the one, okay? And then we have a bunch of rests here, the eighth rest into a quarter rest into another eighth rest. The next time that you count or you play will be the and of three, okay? So it would be one, and. So it's one, two, three, and. Cool? So just do that much. Just give me beat one and the and of three. One, two, ready, count. One, and. Try it again. One, two, ready, and. One, and. Good job. All right, finish out measure three, okay? Do the whole measure three. One, two, measure three, and go. One, and four, e and up. Good job. If you need to rewind that, please do so. All right, measure four. So we're starting off pretty simple here. We have one, two, three, e and up. Let's just do that much. Just the first three beats of that last measure. One, two, uh, ready, and. One, two, three, and up. All right. Now, 
we just have no beat four, right? And we come on, come in the uh, and of four entrance with that eighth note, right? So it would be one, two, three, and a and. Cool. So feel beat four. Use it as a springboard to go into the and of four there, okay? All right, measure four. Count it with the pulses for the chord notes, okay? One, two, ready, count. One, two, three, and a and. Now do it bopping. One, two, measure four, bop. One, two, three, and a and. Good job. All right, let's play just the first two measures, okay? Just the first two measures, okay? One. Two, we're playing go. One, two, three e and a four e and a one, two e and a three e and a four e and a. Good job. Do it again without me. I'm gonna give you the quarter note beat here. So it's just you, okay? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three e and a four e and a one, two e and a three e and a four e and a. Good job. All right, measures three and four. Remember measure three, you have one and. The and of three there is important, okay? All right, play measures three and four. One, two, ready, and. One, two, three, and, four, eight, and a one, two, three, eight, and a, and. All right, do the whole thing. All of line number nine, which is the last line of chart 11.5. Let's play. One, two, uh, ready, play. Two, three. Good job. If you need to rewind that, please do so. We're on to the next thing, okay? All right, percussionists, get out your bell kit if it isn't already. We're in the red book. We're going to play number 87, okay? So, as you can see in 87, relatively simple, okay? Not much going on here, but it's a good introduction into some of the warm-up activities and approaches that we're going to be taking in seventh grade. Um, this warm-up is very good for wind players because it gets, you know, air flowing into their instruments, the first sounds of rehearsal, to practice long tones, to get good tone, good quality of tone, intonation, all that stuff, okay? So you're going to be hearing a lot of this in 7th and 8th grade, and even, you know, bleeding into, you know, the high school career that you're going to have, okay? So might as well, you know, jump on this uh, bandwagon uh, early, okay? So, 87. So, um, where's my mallets? Oh, they're on the ground. Okay, so, half notes, right? Half notes gets two beats. Cool. Remember that. So our first note of measure one, we have F. Okay, it's simple. And then we have E natural. Okay, not E flat. E natural. The key signature that we have is nothing. There's nothing, right? So it's we're in the key of C because you see no sharps and you see no flats, right? Yeah. Shout out to Mr. Herb because that's his catchphrase, I believe. Okay. So, E natural for that second note in the first measure. And then you go back to F for the second measure. Then you hit E flat. You go back to F. Then you hit D. And then you go back to F. If you can see, they're just going down chromatically, right? Chromatically, that means, chromatic notes means basically half steps. Okay? All these notes are close together, only a half step away, okay? So, let's play measure one, just measure one, okay? Here we go, one, two, measure one, and. That's simple, right? Measure two, here we go. One, two, measure two, play. The only difference is the E flat on B3, okay? Measure three. The only difference here, D on B3. Here we go. One, two, measure three, play. And then you end with measure four, just a dotted half note, which gets three beats on, B, on F, okay? So let's play measure one, 
to four, okay? First four measures. One, two, first four measures. As you can see, your right hand will not move at all. It will just be hitting X. Cool? All right, one more time. One, two, one more time. Play. Good job. All right. Now take a look at measure five. Okay, we're starting again with F. Once again, if you see throughout the whole entire exercise, your right hand is not going to move, okay? You're always going to have F on every beat one of every measure, cool? So it's just your left hand that's going to be going places, cool? All right, that left hand is going to be hitting C on beat three. And then the next measure is going to be B flat on beat three. And then we're back to that first measure, right? F. E natural, and then we end on F with the fermata. You wait for the cue of the director to cut off and to stop the vibration of the bells. Cool? All right. Play measure five, and that's it. Measure five. One, two, ready, and. F, C, that's it. Measure six, F and B flat. One, two, ready, All right, last two measures. One, two, ready, and. E natural, back to F. Let's try the whole thing because I know you can do it. It's all notes that are in your comfortable range. You know how to, uh, you have great proficiency in reading this range here, okay? So here we go. Beginning. Uh, one, two, ready, E flat, and then D, two, three, four. Very good. All right, good job. If you need to rewind, go ahead and do so. On to the next thing. Okay, percussion, to end Monday's lesson, I want you to go onto the YouTube page, the Jackson Band's YouTube page, and go to the playlist and go to the mini scales, and let's get our mini scale action for today, okay? So, what we're going to do today, let me get it out here. We are going to do D flat and G flat, okay? Dog flat and good flat. If you do those two mini scales, you're done for today. Thank you.